Hello and welcome back to Turf Talks by Race Mirror for the second day of uh, Chennai Racing. I have with me our expert Fahad who joins us. Fahad, thank you once again for joining us. My pleasure, Yasser. It's really always a great thing to be back on Race Mirror. I think it was a good day today at Chennai. Uh, I heard that there was some light spell of shower. Was that true? Oh, should I say not a light spell, very drizzle kind of a thing in the early morning. And it was a very pleasant day in the races, nice breeze blowing in. It was not too hot. I hope it continues the same for some more time till the, the peak summer starts to step in again. Absolutely. And uh, with that, let's move on to the first race of the day, which is the Kilimanjaro Handicap, a class five race. No whips allowed in this one. Distance 1,000 meters. You have eight horses in this one, Khan. Your picks. Well, Yasser, seeing this race on handicap, I think Stern Maiden has the thing because she's run second in the higher class. And uh, I'm running now in the class five. I think so. She has the upper hand in this race. Driftwood Pacific is a long pending horse. It's a very speedy animal. Brought down in class. And the horse which has to be not taken lightly in this is MSG Fantasy. MSG Fantasy is the horse which has been prepared extremely well. Unfortunately, not been running for quite some time, kept inside and this horse has to be noted. And I'm sure this, this horse will take a lot of beating tomorrow. So if the distance is not too sharp, I think so she should have it easy. She was a favorite last time out. And she has come on a lot after that run, working extremely well and looking very well. Well, I think so. This horse will take a lot of beatings. I think so. The race should be between these two. That's three and two. MSG Fantasy and Stern Maiden and Driftwood Pacific are a good place. All right. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your views, Fahad. With that, let's move on to the second race of the day, which is the Red Rufus Handicap Division One, a class four race to be run over 1400 meters. Uh, there are about 11 runners in this one with uh, the uh, withdrawal of Manzoni on wet Niren grounds. Your picks, Fahad. Uh, see, last time out, we have done it again. Ran a very good race last time, won extremely well. But penalty is definitely on his side, not penalized with 13 points. Horse, which has always been consistent in running good races, number four, Lord of the Turf, and number five, Jory Symphony. These two horses, you know, be, will be right up there in the finish. And another horse which will uh, run a good race last time out is number seven, Shadow of Love. Shadow of Love is drawn well, you know, drawn one and she's got the speed in her. But seven for long, I feel a little bit little too long for her. So, but horses to follow in this race would be number five, Doris Symphony and number four, Lord of the Turf. These two horses have the upper hand in this particular race. What are your thoughts about IC River? Been very consistent. IC River finished second, consistent, second, but third yes, first. but again that was in the lower class. So okay. now she's facing a good higher penalty, higher class. It's going to be a little tough for her. But you never know if a horse in form can also do strike it rich in the higher class too. Absolutely. Let's move on to the third race, which is the Red Rufus Handicap Division Two. Class 4 race to be run over 1400 meters. 11 horses in this one, Fahad. Your thoughts? Moving into the third race, Yasser. This is for horses in class 4, 1400 meters. I feel number one dominant has an uh, outstanding chance to win. He ran a blinder last time out, ran a superb race. But only thing is jockey AM Alam. But he has been his work rider from day one, working with on dominant. I guess he knows this horse very well and uh, I'm sure this would be a very good race to watch out for the dominant and uh, Dancing Queen, Dancing Queen ran a good race, always been consistent and number four Amber Lightning, Amber Lightning to be ridden by Farid Ansari who had a triple today Absolutely. and uh, the boy is in form and I'm sure this boy definitely be heard a lot in future too so I think so the race should be amongst these three but my job form and choice form goes to a dominant, provided given a judicious ride. All right, let's move on to the fourth race of the afternoon, which is the Rotary Club of Madras Trophy, a class three race to be run over 1200 meters. 11 runners in this one, Fahad. 
I feel that uh, based on uh, you know Shah Farid, Farid Ansari has been in form and illustrious ruler will look to make a winning one here. Your thoughts on this? No doubt about that, uh, yeah, sir. I mean, illustrious ruler was definitely a very good horse. And he had a lot of gate problems. He's overcome that. But as you can see, his past record, he's always been in the money. Always good to follow horses which are true to their form. They run consistently and always been there. And Kalyas uh, is the horse to watch out for. And drawn well with Farid Ansari. And I'm sure this horse will run a blinder. Should run a fantastic race. And uh, another horse which can run close to that is, I feel, Pirate's Love. Pirate's Love has got the speed. Drawn nine, but yes, she's got uh, a lot of speed in her, and that would be a good thing liking for that filly. And another horse which can run close to that, I, I feel, which can upset everybody in this race is number two, Rihannon. Rihannon, you know, surprises everyone at once and like that, you know. So it's, she's got a big hearted filly, you see, very light frame, but very big hearted. So I guess these three horses hold the upper hand in this race. Absolutely. Let's move on to the fifth race, which is the Alphabet Million for maiden horses, three years old only. Distance to be run is 1,200 meters. Small field of five runners, but far interesting, uh, you know, pedigrees here. So I'd leave it to you to take us through this one. See, yes, definitely some very well-bred horses are running in this race. No doubt about that. But I feel Royal Icon has been running good races. I mean, you know, horses running true to their form and running good race, especially babies. It's always uh, profitable to follow those, you know. And so I think Royal Anchor has the upper hand. From Seminole Wind, Seminole Wind, you know, really ran, had a very good gates the other day. Fantastic. She came out. She looks very well. And she's one for the notebook. She's going to go very far with the way she carries herself. And if this does not, you know, be like a first outing run, I'm sure she'll take this race away. But still, I would go with Royal, Royal Icon and uh, Seminole Wind. Okay, with that, let's move on to the feature of the day, which is the South India Strayers Trial Stakes. Three horses in this one. The old war horse of Chennai, in my opinion, participating in this. Then we have the likes of Arcti Triumph and Imelda. It's... You know, it, it it looks like B. Suresh versus Adirat Singh Joda <laughs> on the yeah. paper. But, uh, you know, uh, my opinion has won his last start, but uh, not been in, uh, you know, racing for about over a month or let's say 2020 month. Exactly. Ran on the 21st of uh, December in Mysore, over 2000 meters and one under the guidance of Y. Srinath. Your thoughts on this one, Fahad? See, good horses, not necessarily, they need to be run quite often. See, this horse has traveled from Mysore all the way, and he's not a younger horse who can take on the quite often running. He's a, become an eight-year-old now, and uh, he's seen everything. I mean, doesn't need him to be running quite often. So this is a very small field. I guess Emelda will do the dirty work of the pacemaker, and I'm sure... I feel, my opinion, should have it easy from Agri Triumph. My opinion has seen this class. Yes, Agri Triumph is also a decent horse with Pete Trevor riding. I feel, my opinion, should have a much easier task than it as it looks from Agri Triumph. All right. We wish all the connections a good luck in that. And let's move on to the concluding race of the day, which is the Autonomy Handicap, a class 3 race to be run over 1,800 meters. Ravad, interesting race, six horses in this one. I think, you know, Arthur has not had luck on his side. He's run everywhere from Bangalore to Hyderabad and now moved to Chennai. Has been that tad unlucky, I feel. Uh, and uh, do you think it's going to be his day tomorrow? And uh, the one I think that can give him weight and can give him tough, stiff competition is the bottom-weighted Volcanic. Uh, well, yes, sir. see, Arthur is a fantastic horse, no doubt about that. Luck has not been on his side. And uh, provided he jumps well, he was slowly off. From way behind, he came and ran a second. 
बट यू के नॉट अंडर रूबी रोसा एंड डांसिंग रेस डांसिंग रेस इफ रेस्ट वेल अप इन फ्रंट शी वु टेक अ लॉट ऑफ बीटिंग she doesn't let any other horse pass her so easily i guess she would do the front running role tomorrow i guess if not ridden and check run she is a free striding filly and she should run a very good race as well and arthur jumps out well and it's 1800 meters doesn't matter but ruby rosa is a good horse in form one two back after he's come up a lot and This is a very good race to watch out for, and we'll see who it comes out triumphs in this. Absolutely, and with that, we come to the end of another edition of Turn Talks by Race Mirror. I'd like to thank all our racing patrons who've been following us regularly on our social media channels, who've showered us with love, and also thanking our expert, Mr. Fahad, who's joined us once again to share his knowledge on uh, Chennai. We hope to catch you It's soon. Always my pleasure. <clears throat> Thank you so much for that and uh, we hope to catch you soon again with more racing action coming your way but until then please do not forget to subscribe to our race mirror social media channels and we will see you past the post thank you so much have a good day